So in this tutorial I will show you how to draw a snowflake. As you can see I have a collection and it's so easy that anyone anyone can do it. First I'm gonna add a square canvas and I have created a palette with three colors only which is just what you need. Choose a blue or a blue green tone for the background and you can either change the color of the background or just drop a color on the first layer. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a layer where I am going to be drawing my snowflake. Then tap on the brush icon and go to the calligraphy brushes and choose the monoline brush because I want my edges to be smooth. Now make sure the size of the brush is on 3 or 4 percent and the opacity can be all the way up. Now tap on the tool, then turn the drawing guide button, then click on edit drawing guide. Now I will tap on symmetry and options and make sure you put it on radio. On this line up here you can slide and just choose the color you want your guide to be I like it to be dark and that can be turned up later now I am going to choose the color white for my snowflake and as you can see anything I draw in one of those spaces is going to repeat in all of the other ones so remember this setting anytime you have to draw something that has to be symmetrical And this is the part where you have to become creative with whatever shape you want your snowflake to have. The outline is done and now it's time to just make it interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing some shapes inside my snowflakes. You don't have to draw anything specific. You can do circles, you can do ovals, diamonds, or just any curvy lines or anything that looks like a leaf this is your turn to create I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this part a little and then be back when I'm done also I am doing these shapes on the same layer as the outline of the snowflake I am planning on doing some drop shapes some little tree leaves shapes and some curvy lines and right now you can see the beauty of the drawing guide and the drawing assistant that anything that i am doing in one of these part of the snowflake just repeat on the other ones and i am done with that part so now i'm gonna outline the outside of the snowflake just to make it look more interesting Alright, so once this part is done, I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer, tap on the layer icon, on the plus button, and add a new layer, and I'm going to put it behind the actual snowflake. You're going to do that by dragging the layer under the snowflake layer. Now tap on the brush icon, go to your inking brushes. And I am going to use this layer to put some frost behind the snowflake. The brush I am using is just the ink bleed brush. I tapped on it and I went to the brush studio and increased the space. I'm gonna increase the size a little and I'm gonna go ahead and go all around. Let me not forget to say that every time you create a new layer, you have to tap on that layer and click on Drawing Assistant. Otherwise, when you draw, it's not going to repeat on the other parts of the canvas. 
like we did with the snowflake. So I didn't turn the drawing assist for this layer, so I have to go all around with the frost. Before I keep going, I'm going to rename my layers. The first one is going to be the frost. Then I'm going to rename the background, which is the sky behind the snowflake. And then layer number two is going to be the actual snowflake. Then this is the part where I add a layer on top of the snowflake to add some reflection to my snowflake to make it look more realistic. And I name in this layer reflections. Go to my brushes and tap on ear brushes. That's what I'm gonna use for the reflection and leave it on soft brush. Then I'm gonna go ahead and test the size. It's still a little big, so I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the size of the brush. And I think this is the right size, but before I keep going, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this layer and turn on the drawing assistant. And after trying that, I decided to turn the drawing assistant off. You know why? Because I want my reflection to be individual and I don't want, I don't want it to replay exactly on the same side over the snowflake and well that's because that wouldn't be realistic if I do it that way it all depends where you're standing from and that's where the, the reflection of the light is going to be Then I wanted some reflection in the middle of each of the sides of the snowflake, so I turned the drawing assistant for this part. Now adding more to the reflections layer, I'm going to add those parts that are not reflecting any light and that are going to be dark. Which is going to give the snowflake a more realistic look. And this snowflake is almost done. The only thing extra I want to add is some glow on the edges, on some edges. I'm going to go ahead and go to the luminance brushes and choose the, the light brush. And I added a layer and I place this layer on the bottom behind the snowflake. And as you can notice, the drawing assistant on this layer is on. That way I don't have to do every single part of the snowflake. So 
so now that my snowflake is done i'm gonna go ahead and tap on the brushes and go to luminance and flare i'm just trying to add some interest in the background behind the snowflake And that is the same process that I used to create all of these beautiful snowflakes. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped you.